this is a look at what's in time, you know, this is inside the model debugger and inside the configuration model. And what we did is we created a component, as you can see, called split summary. Part of the summary was a text feature called the theme, an instance quantity, the header ID and the revision number, all numeric features, integer features, if you will. The theme captures the description of the selected theme. The instance quantity obviously captures the amount of the split. The header captures that runtime configuration header ID, and the revision number captures each split group rev number. Inside the user interface, this is a screenshot of a small portion of it. We created what you can see here is the line quantity was we're going to split three out of the order quantity of five. The theme itself is, as you can see, Wolverton. It's a nine line, 20 line, or 25 line, and the other product number is just it's unique to the manufacturer. And what we did is, as this line was saved, we part of the extension was used to rename the instance itself and we concatenated it with a couple of static text features. So you would have split quantity is equal to two and it's the Wolverton nine line, 20 line, as you can see. And all we did is we renamed the name of the instance. As you can see, we have a text input and a drop down for the theme selection. And the save split button or the custom button you saw basically fired an event that called the extension. The instant management table we used is a standard Oracle instant management table. We just basically got rid of the add configuration button and slightly customized it. Once everything was, once all the splits are completed, you can see that you have an order quantity of five, total line split is five. We have no splits remaining, and then you can see each and every one that was split out. So the user knows that he has five games, all with the same components, except two of the games are going to have the theme of Wolverton and its related artwork. One of them is going to have the theme of Nine Sons and its related artwork and two of them are going to be Super Jackpot Party. Let's take a look inside the non-bomb model after all these splits have been taken inside the model debugger. As you can see, we have the split summary model and each instance or inst instantiation of that model, we have saved a new name, we've renamed it, split quantity equals 2, over 10, 9 line, 25 line, etc. You can see that the theme within that text feature is, is saved part of the concatenated renaming of the model. We've also saved the instance quantity and the header ID that was generated and the revision number. The same as the case for the other two splits. So we've configured the five games, we've split them the way we want to, and we now say save configuration. All the split quantities are accounted for in the order as an order management with an entered status. As you can see, you still have five games listed because what's returning to the lines initially is nothing more than the final configuration with the final theme. Okay, so what happens next? The client manually books the order, 
client manually schedules the order. Once these two events happen, and this is part of their business process, the PLSQL procedure is called to split the order. This is, can be done either via automation or the user can actually go down into the tools menu and, and fire the split line procedure. As you can see, once the procedure is completed, we've ended up splitting the game into its desired assemblies. So then now it can be progressed and sent to manufacturing. After it's progressed, each ATO star item is created with its unique assembly and all the parts are pretty much run through standard Oracle. Let's take a look at how the PL SQL flows. When the process is called, basically we look at the order that needs to be split. The procedure gets the revision number assigned for each instance, and we end up updating this quantity for each split in CZ config items. This is within the actual table. At this point in time, there's a decision to be made. How many splits are there? If there's just one somebody orders 10 games and 10 of them have the same theme, there's no reason to run this PL SQL process. Basically, the number of splits is, you know, we, we take a look and we say, just update the order lines to point to the correct revision number, and that's all that's done. If the number of splits is greater than one, which is 90% of the time, it's going to loop through the splits, update the CZ tables, and create new order lines with the standard API. Once this is achieved, the split line process is ended. This is a pretty bare bones look at how this flows. Um, it was actually a pretty complicated piece of code. Uh, but it, the clean part of it is, is, is it uses just a standard API, and all we're really doing is manipulating the CZ tables so that we have a clean flow back to each split line and the order itself.